Hey everybody, this is uh, yet another project from Hat and Crush Steampunk, and uh, it's a weird one, um, but basically this is kind of like a, a, you know, the leftover meal you get, where you just kind of rummage through the, the refrigerator, and you see all the stuff that's left, and you kind of put something together from that. Well, that's what this build is. So this is the front half of the Murray, which was built by Stephen Chapman, and he, I did ask permission before I chopped it in half. Uh, the back half is over here. But... The front half, this is coming out and that's going into the Roadster, which left me like this kind of front end carcass that was really just too perfect not to use. Um, I also have over here a one, somewhere around 80 to 150 cc moped. Um, they said 150, but it looks kind of tiny. But either way, it will be fast enough for what I need. So what I'm gonna do is I like reverse trikes, if you haven't noticed. I am going to cut it here and here, and then level over there. So the front end is gone. Powertrain is here. All the electronic gobbledygook and spaghetti is still on. I'm going to use all of it. Um, and then we are going to marry it up to this steel frame. So I will have to add about <clears throat> 14 inches between the end of this. And the beginning of that, so I'm going to make uh, a regular steel uh, frame rails to go between the two because I want to sit uh, low, but and <laughs> well, relatively low. I will be sitting probably about 18 inches off the ground, which is much better than the triceropede, which is only about uh, four inches off the ground and very fun to get in and out of. I'm learning from my lessons. Um, so yeah, now time to cut with this baby. Ah, uh, I wish there was a second person here to film me doing that because then you would have seen pure joy because there is such pleasure in cutting something apart with a sawzall. I am going to hold on to this while there is a break on the back. I am probably going to take, this is a really nice hydraulic brake, probably gonna take this disc brake and figure out um, if I can't put it on the front of the Murray. <clears throat> so I have two brakes, not one. While normally I build vehicles with zero brakes and a whole lot of wishes for good luck, this time I would like to not hurt myself. Um, but yeah, so now for the fun part, welding. I lay it out by the measurements that I initially thought I was gonna use. I can see that this is way too long. Um, and I know what you're saying, but Dave, this looks ridiculous. Well, have no fear. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the steering wheel angle down, and I'm going to bring it in closer to that, uh, the dashboard um, because I need to get the, the rear end you know, a, a, good deal, a good deal closer. This little piece right here is a bracket, and that's going to be the, the, the back support of my seat that I'll build. Um, and so I don't need that much space. And uh, where do you see the rest of this monstrosity? All right, that seems a uh, much more reasonable length. It's still pretty long, uh, but I'm gonna need you to use your imagination here because the front end is not gonna look like that. The back end, not gonna look like that. What is that? Holy crap. Well, what are those? Okay, now you're getting more of the picture, but as you can see, it sits too high. I need to bring this flush with the top of the dash. So, more cutting. Woo! Cutting done! Height. Perfect height found. That is definitely a perfect ride height right there. Oops. Now you're be, be saying to yourself, what is going on right here, David? And the little bitty wheels, they look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, just, I don't know if I am totally loving it or hating it, but uh, I had these two uh, Volkswagen Beetle fenders, and I thought that will make a really cool front end. There's a grill that goes with it, um, so to close off the front. And I got thinking, you know, this looks like crap de crap. So what I plan on doing is just putting a sh piece of sheet metal in here, coming across, roll the bottom edge, 
and then weld it in so all of this is closed because um, I don't want to try to buy big wheels for it or you know these are gonna work just perfect and uh, and then these can turn in there and you won't see it so then I have the rest of this and I've been thinking about you know like what's a the, the a boat tail rear end is in my opinion just super sexy and so I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and Craigslist, trying to find like an old aluminum canoe, hopefully one that had a hole in it so that it was like free or cheap. But I have found that um, those things just don't seem to exist. So, um, and Uncle David ain't got time for that. I'm trying to pay 200 bucks for a, a canoe. So I'm going to try to go back to the drawing board and figure it out. But the, the eventual goal would be to have um, a boat tail rear end here that would, even if I did have a canoe, it still wouldn't be um, the right height. It'd only come to about here. I would want it to go the same length or um, level as those fenders there. And so I may end up having to try to just make a, a wood buck the shape that I want and then just, you know, roll... Uh, um, thin gauge sheet metal over it, do some riveting and, um, but you can imagine, or maybe you can't, if you can imagine, it's, uh, starting to come together and it will be uh, a pretty fun, weird, 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 ugly vehicle. Uh, I was thinking in my head as I was tying the fenders up to hold them in place for now, that it's a Ford with bug fenders so it makes it a fug. My last name is Lee, so that kind of is going to get the nickname right now, the Fugly. 